Hello everyone, Naturalist John from Saltwork here. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's finally starting to feel like spring, so I came out today to try to find something to share with you folks, uh, and everyone seems to be enjoying these little critter videos so much that I thought I'd do another, and I think I've found something that you might enjoy under this piece of slate beside me, so we're going to check it out together. So today, we've found an eastern milk snake. Check this snake out. What a fantastic snake. It's a beautiful snake. Check out that pattern. What a wonderful snake. That beautiful, beautiful checkerboard belly. Great snake. A, a little oval-shaped petite head with a Y or V-shaped marking on the back. That's characteristic of a milk snake. Now, milk snakes are called milk snakes because... A long time ago, folks were finding them in barns and made the assumption that they were in there drinking cow's milk. Uh, that is not the case. They were in barns because barns are excellent places for rodents, and that's one of the things that this snake likes to eat. These snakes are constrictors, meaning they, uh, they squeeze their prey, swallow it whole, uh, and these snakes are very closely related to king snakes. And king snakes and milk snakes uh, are both cannibalistic, which means they... Uh, will eat other snakes. So if you're not a fan of snakes, this is the snake to have in your yard. It'll eat other snakes. Now, it's a wonderful snake. Check it out. If I didn't know where to look, I would have never seen this snake. They've got excellent camouflage. Okay, And part of, uh, part of that, the, so these snakes being so beautifully patterned um, are very frequently uh, encountered by people and they're very frequently killed because People think they're something like a copperhead or something dangerous, which is not the case. They're, they're really beneficial to have around. Uh, take a look. They've got a tiny little head, and it's also brown. It's not coppery colored. Um, now, these are wild animals, and we want to remember to keep these animals wild. We're going to let the snake go. This is part of nature, and part of keeping these animals wild is uh, not killing them with a shovel because you're scared. Um, so... This snake, uh, I will post the species profile above like I've done in the past so you can learn about this snake and other Ohio wildlife. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll, I'll try, to, try to answer them. Um, I'm going to let this guy go. All right, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'll see everybody later. Thanks for watching. Bye.